Welcome to Sleepless News. Brazil's Hebert Sousa score a shot comeback KO Oleksandr Kisniak for middleweight gold. Ahead 2018 on all five scorecards heading into the final round, all Oleksandr Kisniak needed to do was play it safe for three minutes. Instead, the Ukrainian fought like a warrior, and it cost him the gold. Brazil's Hebert Sousa put the Granich and Kisniak down on the mat with a perfectly timed left hook leaving a referee stoppage at the 129 mark of the final round on Saturday, August 7. The upset knockout earns Brazil its second boxing medal of the 2020 Olympics, following heavyweight Abner Teixeira's bronze. Kisniak, an all-out brawler who was seemingly impervious to his opponent's punches, has survived back-to-back -back street fights with Yuri Cedeno of the Dominican Republic and Ymir Marcial of the Philippines on split decisions, but appeared even more dominant in this fight prior to the knockout. The loss is his first since 2016. Suso Salvador, Bahia, Brazil had previously been a bronze medalist at the 2019 World Championships and 2018 South American Games, and earned silver at the 2019 Pan American Games. There were three other gold medals handed out on the penultimate day of Olympic boxing. Stoker Cristivo of Bulgaria won a 5-0 decision over Busey Karaglu of Turkey to pick up the women's flyweight gold. While Busan has the mentally of Turkey and the women's welterweight gold with the 3-0 decision over China's Hong Kong in the opening bout of the day, Great Britain's Galleria. There are four more gold medal matches planned for Sunday, with Keyshawn Davis and Richard Torres Jr. seeking revenge for past defeats against Cuba's Andy Cruz in the lightweight final and Bakaner Jalalov in the super heavyweight final, respectively. Also, Butrias Ferreira of Brazil faces Ireland's Kelly and Harrington in the women's lightweight final, and Lauren Price of Great Britain faces Lee Chien of China in the women's middleweight final. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to Sleepless Buddy. See you next time on Sleepless News.